My name is Craig Gorsuch. I'm the Environmental Program Manager at Bellows Air Force Station and currently we're standing in one of my favorite places in a wetland area along Puha Stream uh, that runs into Waimanalo Bay. Back in the 40s, the Army Corps of Engineers had a project where they wanted to improve the stream water flow under the good intentions of preventing flooding in the low-lying areas. Unfortunately, we, you know, we know more now than they knew then. And they channelized the stream and turned a very productive wetland area that act like a big filtering sponge whenever there is stormwater runoff. And they channelized it to the ocean. So they completely changed the wetland habitat. And what we're realizing today is the, the value in that habitat. Bellows is very rich with both natural and cultural resources. Where we're standing right now, historically used to be very extensive ponding and wetland area. The fresh water that came down the Ahupua'a meandered on its way and created beautiful wetlands before emptying into the ocean. Bellows is an area that's very sacred. So we're restoring this area you know, closer back to what it used to be. So on a typical day, we're either out in the wetlands clearing out invasive plants or over on the dune side clearing out ironwood needles and making sure the native plants are going strong. I think mostly it's just going to help take out the invasive plants because they're out competing the native plants and it's going to give the native plants, uh, I guess, a better chance at coming back, rebounding and taking back over its native ecosystem. Pretty sure this is everything that you think just disappears. Uh, it's just multiple plastics and other materials that don't really get along with uh, the lab. So we're gonna take them off and put them out to the side in this trash bin, get them out of the way. It's about physically giving the community members uh, an opportunity to do what they love and meet and network and also physically be able to alter and sort of refresh a parcel of land. And I think it not only makes you stronger and more of this connection and this actual tie to a place, but it makes you really actually care for this place. It makes you want to come back, see how it's doing. I think at the sand dune, that's where we really sort of first fell in love with uh, sort of helping these ecosystems out. It's really cool to see that community and I think that impact, it's more like a pass it forward type of impact. And I think it's about really creating this awareness and instilling these perpetual benefits that will really, you know, just create such a better morale and set of values, I think, within a person when they really just get down and dirty. This is a great opportunity for the community to participate in restoration as well. So I work closely with some of the after school programs here in Waimanalo. And find it very rewarding to combine education for natural resources and also education for cultural resources. I also work with Boy Scout troops out here and a Church of Latter-day Saint groups and uh, the Youth Challenge Academy, which is a wonderful organization to come out here. Volunteers from the community in general. Our last outplanning, we've seen a lot of people, not only from communities in Hawaii, but like from all over the world. Like there's people from Papua New Guinea here, like that's super cool to see, you know, other people coming, helping our island. But I think, I think this is very important for our communities, you know, not only for that, but for animals and plants, just the environment as a whole. I have, you know, a big vision, a goal maybe, of creating a large enough area of wetland native plants and dune native plants that I reach a certain point of a threshold level where there are enough plants that can start to spread to other areas naturally. So it can create these pockets, these pukas of native plant islands on the streams and along the coastline, with perhaps the hope that they would connect with other pockets of native plants further away, that we can kind of reach a point where they'll start to spread naturally as well. I can very much feel an energy here in the wetlands, and that energy is not in a particular time or place, but it's an energy that kind of connects all of us, an, an energy with the native birds, an energy with the history of Hawaiian community, and an energy in the ground, in the water. And it feels like the, as we get our hands into the earth 
and see native plants start to flourish out here, that there's just something bigger happening, connecting with a bigger community. Mm -hmm.